Hi guys, it's Jeff off the Gridiron. I'm here with uh, Landon and Keaton, and we're heading to Harvest Gathering 2019 in Little Britain, Ontario. This is the, a chance where many bushcrafters, uh, survivalists, uh, outdoor education enthusiasts come to showcase uh, their knowledge and wares in some cases. Uh, full A day full of workshops. Uh, we're just going for the one day, but uh, really look forward to uh, spending a, a day with like-minded people and uh, continue that learning journey, uh, learning more about the outdoors and uh, all things bushcraft. So uh, come along for the ride and uh, we'll showcase for you what, uh, what the day involves. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the Green Iron. kinds of stuff there's everybody that stayed over last night people are getting their workshops set up so here we are at our first station this is a, a soapstone carving station we've got the boys busy at work carving a soapstone necklace so I uh, can't wait to see how that turns out a lot going on here um, turn the camera around and show you what's here check out over here we've got uh, blacksmith shop and uh, see what that's about Across the way, we've got uh, children's work activity. I'm making some uh, outdoor kind of nature crafts. Uh, registration behind registration is a leather workshop behind that uh, John Deere tractor, and uh, we're going to make a it looks like a little uh, either a tinder pouch, uh, something to that effect. Uh, kind of a main main council area, and uh, down in the woods some brain tanning. But uh, over here we got some other little bit, guys busy working on some. Uh, Soapstone necklaces and jute twine uh, bags. So uh, we're gonna get involved and try to get something made. Or if you get one piece at 80, I'll take 80 pieces to fill up that one little piece. Those are bigger pieces of sand. That's how the numbers work. So I just met Sean over here at the uh, blacksmith shop. He had all he made us all his own tools. Uh, he's working on this crazy like Japanese bellows that was working super good and uh, yeah I'm gonna go see how the boys are doing with their, their jade carving you got some deer tanning going on over here and I keep learning to meet people fantastic community all right working on some jute pouches jute basket pouches I'm making a hat making a hat yeah I think I saw some of those <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, no, we're not actually making a hat. So there's more chairs in the van, but I didn't bring them all because we thought we could do the wagon. But if you want, like, there's a chair. Plus, there's one on my shoulder. That's what you turn into. That's pretty sharp. No idea how you would finish the bottom. <laughs> that's got to be the tricky part, I guess, eh? Yeah. Yeah. See, you that. just tie it. That's the bottom. Egg, you could weave into the center, right. like a basket. Okay. These are so small, like, you'd only get one round anyway. Right. Well, there's an example of one. Oh, round. there's the finish? Oh, there's the finish. Well, I'm just going to know if we're doing this right or not. I don't care until he wants to do it. Nice. Everybody's busy at different workshops, all kinds of meet and greet. Looks like there's some deer tanning on going on over there. Let's go check that out. Alright, make 
cordage out of a plastic bottle, two liter bottle. And with knife you can set whatever thickness you want too, eh? Yes, with that depth between the knife and the, and the cutout there. Okay, just hold it up for a sec. Alright. You want to give it a pull and see how easy this is? Or? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Actually makes a lot of cordage, yeah, doesn't it? You know what? I'm surprised. Now, how long was this bottle when we started? Oh. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, already. Oh, we're just uh, stretching we right just in. Yeah. Full bottle. I just kind of start pulling it down, and as I'm going, it doesn't. Is there any? Uh... Pretty simple, eh? That's great. Just back up, Landon. Back up. Just have a look at the, what we're doing. Holy. Now it's, it's starting to bind up because of the shoulder on the bottle. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah look how long that. Look how long stretch that out, Landon. Yeah. And that takes nothing, eh? That was so easy. Yeah, very easy. I I should have brought more. It'd be nice to try different thicknesses of how thin you can actually get. Making some cordage from that uh, kind of two liter strip. What was it, 20 feet long to start? Mm, roughly? 15, 15, 15 20, 20 feet, feet long? Yeah. I take it. How long would it take you to make it out of this stuff, eh? We should get one of the guys to try this with the bow drill. Oh, jeez. Oh, that might be nice, eh? You think you have to flame it to keep it shaped? What's that? Oh, you might have to melt it together, you mean? or? Yeah, just to heat it and pull the memory out of it. I don't know. You gonna try a second time? Well, it'll, it'll twist on itself right now. Okay. I'll, I'll do it a little bit. Because that'd be, just second time might be a nice length for a bow drill. Yeah. Yeah, because this is just unwrapped now, but if you do the other way to double without then lock in itself better? Sure. It, it, would, it might bind itself on yeah. itself, yeah. Well, even here, it, it's naturally trying to twist on itself. So now we've got to do... Um, Half it over? You need another spinner, don't you, for the center? Yeah, we'll do that. Go, and I'll go some more spinners there. Yeah, yeah and then... Well, that'd be slick if it did work with the bow drill, right? Direction? Yeah. Opposite direction the second time. So who's doing the bow shop, bow drill workshop? Oh. So That's Colin. Right out, eh? yeah. There you go. <laughs> that might be it. I think that'll work. Yeah. You just and have to drag it around something to hold some of it. Okay, what do you got to slide it on this one? Want to run it around this pole yeah. we cut? <laughs> that that, well, they're just taking some of the memory out of it and trying you to stretch it into a new new place. <laughs> what is it going to be? That's a really thick paracord. We're just trying to make it nice and smooth. We're going to see if they can use Hey, it's holding together. Now, now it's, it's twisting a little bit, but it's holding together. Sweet. Might, eh? You might. really grab into the spindle. Did you bring a kit? I didn't bring a kit. Oh, see, wow. let's give it to Colin. See if he can try it. Where is Colin? Ah, well, we just came back to the truck. Uh, quick uh, drop off of uh, our, uh, our packs, and uh, we're not needing them today. Uh, grabbing an extra shirt looks like the weather's rolling in but what a great morning so far uh, again at harvest gathering little britain uh, 2019 and uh, meeting a lot of great people i uh, just met jeremy there uh, him and the bearded woodsman uh, have done so many uh, kind of catching cooks and just wilderness exploring i'll provide the link for his channel up top uh, jeremy and his wife are also on a one one year challenge where they're eating nothing but uh, natural foods so great to run into him what a what a great guy and uh, just seems really grounded and uh, obviously committed to uh, to his year, uh, um, which ends December 31st. So I'll provide the link to uh, his channel and uh, unbelievable. So that was that was nice, and the boys got to, to <laughs> got to meet Jeremy. And we had our pictures taken with them. Um, the boys and I were always watching uh, other kind of bushcraft and YouTube channels. Uh, and uh, Jeremy's one that uh, he, the, the boys pointed out, here, there's a the guy that eats a raccoon. And, and uh, yeah, so that was that was super great. Met up with uh, 
Uh, Dave Ross, I'll, again, I'll try to provide uh, some information to connect to him at Brandon Heron Leatherworks. Uh, yeah, Dave's running a session here, and he's based out of, uh, uh, I think, uh, Peterborough, Ontario as well, which is uh, local to me. So we just bumped into each other, and that's great. Uh, kind of just promoting each other's business, his with leather and me with uh, laser engraving. So uh, that'll be a, a cool uh, connection to follow up with. Anyways, uh, that's been the morning so far. We're gonna get back to the afternoon. I'm gonna revisit some of the uh, some of the other. Uh, there's a, a blacksmith shop and uh, uh, some demonstrations happening this afternoon. So I want to get involved with those and uh, really uh, really see uh, see what I can learn. Uh, another great uh, tick, uh, trick we learned. Uh, a bunch of the guys were practicing uh, what we, they had seen uh, again with making cordage out of a plastic bottle and it worked really well in fact they took that cordage uh, spun it up double it over and continue to spun it up into uh, almost a, a plastic rope kind of quick rub on a tree to take off some of the burrs and in, in memory of that strand and we're actually going to demonstrate hopefully this afternoon if we can uh, if it works and see if we can make that plastic into uh, functional cordage uh, so much going on, and uh, I'm going to take the boys after they have a, a little bit of nourishment here and get uh, back to Harvest Gathering 2019. Let's go. Sean, is it? So, Sean? Ryan. Ryan. All right. That was close yeah. alphabetically. <laughs> and what's your business again, Ryan? On the, on the table there, if you want to take a picture. Oh, yeah, we'll do. I don't do. have any business cards. No, I get Yeah, I just was over here with uh, with Ryan at uh, level 111. That's his blacksmith uh, shop and his name. I'll provide his uh, uh, you know, picture of his information. But, well, wow, certainly expertise in the, uh, the blacksmith world. And he's uh, he's got a whole number of trinkets and odds and ends and, and uh, teaching guys how to kind of make simple simple knives out of rebar and uh, and files and other uh, uh, recycled uh, steels so uh, we're going to get uh, back over here and see how the kids are making it with their uh, their stone uh, their soapstone pendants working hard nice little jute bag and soapstone pendant uh, workshop put on by Oshawa Bushcraft. What's the status of things, guys? You getting uh, you getting some other jobs done? More sanding, more carving. That's good. That's good. At least, right? But when they came to North America, when people came across, they had uh, another ten thousand years. Bows uh, and atlas. Ten thousand years. Yeah. Bow didn't make it to North America until about eight thousand years ago. They crossed like 15,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. So over that time, they took it that much longer. They added finger loops, they added weights, they made mm -hmm. it thinner and more flexible. They mm -hmm. advanced oh, the that's weapons, great. So, Again, more people with amazing knowledge all about the atlatls and the various Inuit traditional uh, bows and whatnot. So, speaking of bows and arrows, there's some more, looks like some archery getting set up here. So, we're gonna go check that in. We'll go check on the boys. And, and uh, we gotta hear metal banging off in the distance and, and uh, crackling of fires. And the sun's coming out. What a beautiful day. Egg tanning, egg. What was it? Is it egg tanning? It's like yeah. brain tanning. Brain tanning, but, but with the, uh, using the eggs. Brain substitute is uh, uh, the the proteins yeah, from the egg, and that's a sheep uh, sheep's. Yeah. Yeah. Just looks like in the same sheepskin on the back of my four wheeler. <laughs> Some of these drying it. Where this is going on? This is probably going on my four wheeler. Yeah.
Oh, hang on here. Let's just take this one off too. Well, the day's winding down at harvest gathering for us. We're going to get on our way soon. Uh, the kids have a chance to go over here and shoot some, uh, some bows at the uh, archery sta station. This is the archery workshop for, uh, for kids, so we're going to go watch that. Um, hammers are banging, Black Forge is working, smell of smoke's in the air, bow drill. I was just over helping, uh, helping some people with the bow drill. And uh, my, uh, my friends from Oshawa Bush Bushcraft putting on that workshop, so uh, that's good. Uh, deer hides are stretching, we've got sheepskin tanning happening, leather work uh, continues. Uh, we got kids just came from making throwing sticks, so totally, uh, totally involved here and everybody's uh, so welcoming. What a great community to be a part of. All right, let's check out some archery. So we're heading away from uh, Harvest Gathering 2019. We're out here for the day. It's uh, getting on to uh, about dinner time, and uh, we attended so many different workshops from uh, some blacksmithing, uh, bow drill fire, uh, working with some deer hides, sheepskins, uh, leather craft. Uh, we had so many people representing here, for, representing their own uh, traditional skills or businesses that was uh, super good and, and uh, made the day all worthwhile so until next time Jeff Allen off the green iron thanks for watching enjoy your outdoors bye for now from Harvest Gathering 2019 in Little Britain Ontario take care